former Kano State Governor and Presidential Candidate of the New Nigeria People's Party in 2023, Rabiu Wapanso, has expressed displeasure and criticized the bail conditions imposed on the Ed Bad Governance protesters. He stated that the arraignment of such a large number of minors is highly unusual and undermines the fundamental principles of human rights and dignity. In a statement posted on his ex account on Friday, Papa also emphasized the malnourished state of the minors and the urgent need for medical attention. He said, I am shocked by the arraignment of 67 minors by the Nigeria police force at a court in Abuja for alleged participation in the end bad governance protest. These children, who are obviously malnourished and need medical attention, have been subjected to a cruel experience when they should be in school. The arraignment of such number of minors in their states is highly unusual and negates every tenet of the protection of human rights and dignity. As leaders, it is our duty to protect the most vulnerable among us, particularly children, women, old, and the needy. The, and the government should not be at the forefront of this violation. I am particularly appalled by the stringent conditions set for their release. It is absurd that a teenager is ordered to pay to source for 10 million naira and a grade 11, 15 civil servant for bail. The Child's Right Act 20, 2003, Section 11, protects the dignity of every child and protects them from any physical, mental, or emotional injury, abuse, neglect, or maltreatment. He also urged the federal government to focus on tackling issues such as banditry, kidnapping, Boko Haram, unstable electricity, and harsh economic policies instead of incarcerating children. Judge, yeah. what do you have to say about the story? Um, Lawrence, uh, one would have thought that the court is a juvenile court. If it is a juvenile court, I will not have an issue with it because the juvenile court will be there to correct. Mm. You know, it's like more of a correctional facility, not, you know, to weed the... The, you the know, big the, stick. Yeah, yeah, even, you know, but if this is a regular court, it's quite... Um, unheard of, you know, that a minor will be arraigned in the court. A minor which, for we, we expect, we, 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 we see them like people who do not understand what the issues are, what the positions of the law is. So they are not supposed to be arraigned. It's unfortunate, like um, Kwa Kwa so is saying, the, 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 the bail condition is also stringent. You know, it's also, we have to expect most of these children are people who are indigent human beings that didn't have anything going for them. If they have people who are where to do, who are taking care of them, they may not have you know, taken part in that protest in the first place. Some of these people appear to be like the Amajiri, so to speak, you know, who do not have anybody. So it was like something happened in the street, and the next thing you see people joining just to take part, even without knowing the reason why they are you know, carrying out that uh, protest. So one would have... Uh, thought that the government, the Nigerian police force, will understand this and see how they can acquit those children. I, I want to join. This matter has, has a kind of attracted some kind of, um, it has attracted a barrage of, uh, uh, you know, abuses on the federal government, you know, from Nigerians through the social media. People have been complaining, and I want to join them to condemn what the police have done. Uh, looking at the picture here, now I've just seen people who actually are minors. You know, they are actually minors. Although some of them have been over 18 years, which is adult age, but some looking at them, there is no way they can convince me that those ones I saw there are above 18. So well, I they, would, they, I would General, my general he came out to say that, uh, uh, if I may quote him, he said, "These boys, these boys are not." Um, he said, "Some of these boys." Are married men and uh, the question I asked was if you say they are boys if in the first instance you call them boys it means that you just mentioned you gave them the adequate description by calling them boys when you say those boys are married men if they are married men you cannot call a mature man it's just like someone coming out to tell you say judge refer you as a boy 
and then call you a married man. You know, it's, it's ironical, or I like say paradoxical in a sense. So even that statement, to a large extent, one would wonder how are they, these children that people, well, how, how are they married? If they say these boys are married men and they are under age and married, then to a large extent, that state should be investigated because how is an underage boy married? You know, what I would say here is that sometimes when issues come up, people mm -hmm. look for every means, no matter how frivolous, to defend it. You know, maybe the Attorney General and the Nigerian Police Force never expected this kind of backlash from the Nigerian people. They were thinking that because they arrested you know, people who wanted to disrupt the government so that Nigerian people might be happy. If they were adults, you will not see me supporting that they should be acquitted. You will not see me asking for juvenile court, which is more like a correctional facility you know, to you know, um, groom these children, tell them what is right and what is wrong, not to engage in what is wrong and things like that. But these are clearly children from the pictures we are seeing. So they are, in general, for me, maybe thinking of how to, you know, use uh, some kind of language. Let, let, let's, even, let's even look at the bail condition for a minute. Let's look at the bail condition. Uh, grade 15 civil servant, 10 million naira. That is outrageous. For, for hunger, like, when you look at them, you can tell these children are hunger-stricken. You, you can tell the background they are coming from, the level of poverty. And yet, in an interesting twist of events, side by side, a House of Rep member, Ikweche, member representing uh, Abia North, Ikweche, uh, was accused of attacking uh, an e-hailing driver. And Ikweche was granted bail of 500,000 naira. 500,000 naira as against protesters. Uh, 10 right, uh, million naira. Well, one would say this is, um, this is, this is one could say this one uh, it has to do with battery or assault. It was arraigned on the ground of assault. This one, not, another argument could be this is treason. But when you look at these two, between the two, that, that, that who, is exactly that that the angle I want to comment on. All right, go ahead. The law has no emotion. The only challenge we have here is that these people are minors. So ordinarily, it should be a juvenile court trying them, trying to correct them, mm -hmm. trying to you know, groom them in a way that they will be better citizens tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If they were adults, I would not be here agreeing with other people and you or any other person to say that the, the, the stringent bail condition given to Ikweche and these other people, I would not because these are clearly different matters. Mm -hmm. Equal one has to do with assault on an adult. This one has to do with treason against the country. It's a very serious offense. But the only thing that is making us to be emotional is because of the age of the children. Mm -hmm. If they were adults of my age, I will not be here to support them. Frankly, I will not. Where, where will a child raise 10 million naira? This so are, that, that, that is where I'm coming to support you to say that the bail condition is stringent. See the technicality here. Yes. They are they hinging on the, on the fact that it is treasonable offence, mm -hmm. which, may be, listen, which may be standard across board. They, they it may be standard that if you commit any treason. The judge gives you bail conditions at his or her own discretion. But I'm looking at the technicality. Probably you don't want to release someone and you put a bail condition <laughs> that you know <laughs> it is inhuman and there is no possibility of that person meeting up with that bail condition. And probably that could even explain why a lot of inmates awaiting trial mm. are there because bail conditions that cannot be met are being placed on them. In other words, what you're trying to let us know here is that there are vested Not interests. Not what I'm trying to let there you know. There are vested interests. I never said vested interests. If there are no vested why would a judge, like you said, it mm -hmm. is at the description of the judge to mm -hmm. give bail conditions. Mm -hmm. So if the judge, as a human being, saying that these children are minors, and probably they have not... And they probably they do not even have anybody. Uh -huh. These are people who ordinarily were hungry on the street and saw people protesting and joined. Unfortunately, they were caught. 
So why would the judge give them a string if nobody, has, if there's no unseen hand anywhere trying to, you know, make things difficult? Like you said, it could be that they didn't want them to be released. Because I see no reason why a judge would want to give such a... Day. I told, for me, I understand that there is a level of crime that you commit. Mm -hmm. The bail condition can mm -hmm. never be one naira. It will be so difficult that anybody who is coming will want to stick his or her neck mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Before that person does that, the person you know, will have something in the case where the thing is not good the other way, will lose something you know, very... Uh, uh, real and, so that's, that's, that's right. my understanding of it. All right.